Sunday. I go Friday to find out if I have to have surgery or not. And I get my other cast put on, so that's when I'm going to be starting to use the stickers. Yay! Yay. Okay. Be a little more exciting. That was exciting. Yay. Yeah. Ebony's excited. Come here, Ebony. Are you excited? <laughs> She's like, you smell. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. Melissa Thompson's been a subscriber of ours for a long time, and she wanted to introduce us to her fiancé, Clay. Welcome to the neighborhood, Clay! I wanted to give a very special channel a shout-out, only because I haven't given her a shout-out in a long time, and her channel is awesome! Everybody go check out Lucy Owl. Owl. Shout out to you. Bethany. Hi, Bethany. I hope everybody, everything's going well for you. I haven't talked to you or given you a shout out hello in a long time. So I wanted to do so. Everybody go over and check out Bethany on her mother's channel, Sylvia Phillips. And check out Sylvia also. They have an awesome channel. Okay, I hope I get this right. This person is from Instagram, and they watch our channel all the time. They are lowercase s, the number four, my, lowercase, both my, five, six, four. Shout out to you! Erica Templeton, are you still smiling? Just wanted to make sure. Elena Gibson, she has never watched The Walking Dead. Never, ever. There's other people on our channel that have never watched The Walking Dead. I highly recommend you all go back to season one and sit down and have a Walking Dead marathon. Er Elena Gibson did. And she is now hooked. <laughs> Elena, Daryl is still mine. Andy and Tay, congratulations on the birth of Elijah. He was born on October 28th. Our thoughts and prayers go out with you. He was having some sugar issues. I hope all is well now. Belinda Alberry. Congratulations for being able to walk on your foot that you had surgery on. Please, 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 girl, listen to the doctors. Don't overdo it. Take it easy. Trust me, I have experience. You don't want scar tissue in your feet. It hurts. Um, thoughts and prayers go out to everybody still in Paris. Everybody who was affected by the terrorist attacks over in Paris and the terrorist attacks that go on all over the world. Ashley Smith, her father's lung surgery is due, he's doing very well from his lung surgery, um, but she would all like us to continue to keep him in our thoughts and prayers that he stops smoking. And One Proud Mama 77 finished chemo radiation treatments. We'll find out if treatment worked or not um, next week, I believe, or this coming week sometime. So thoughts and prayers are needed for a no evidence of disease diagnosis. Please, everybody, keep April One Proud Mama 77 in your thoughts and prayers that she gets a no evidence of disease diagnosis. Plus, her daughter Haley, the one who just got out of a cast for a broken leg, that she hurt herself at school and the teacher told her, oh, it's just a sprain, walk on it, and it turned out to be broken. Um, just got her cast off, she's going through phys physical therapy, but she's been having extreme 
abdominal issues and um, for on and off for a few months now they found a mass Aww. plus several enlarged n lymph nodes once they get the lymph nodes um, to uh, the swelling to go down they can look further into the mass and what the mass is and what's causing it so if everybody could please keep their keep Haley in your thoughts and prayers as well that the lymph node swelling goes down quickly and that they can get on top of this mass and find out what exactly is causing it and hope that it's nothing serious and that they can get to get it taken care of as quickly as possible so um, our hearts go out to April and her daughter Haley and we love you guys and you are always in our thoughts and prayers last week my question was if you could spend your Thanksgiving with a celebrity or someone of you find great importance would you give up spending your Thanksgiving dinner with your family to do so? Angie on YouTube, I would spend it with my family and friends over someone famous. Destiny Swan, I think I would give up my Thanksgiving with my family to have it with Rachel Ray because she is an awesome cook. Then maybe I would learn some tips. If I was going to give it up, I think I would give it up to have it with a, a famous chef to learn some stuff. But I wouldn't want to just go for dinner. I'd want to go for the preparation and everything. Although she probably has somebody prepare it for her. <laughs> Callie Baby Mama. I would never give up a holiday with family, especially since my husband's grandfather is 95 and hasn't been doing so well. With the losses in our family recently, now more than ever, we need to cherish our days on earth with the people that matter. Very good answer. Greg Myers wanted me to tell everybody that his big brother David and his girlfriend Julie are come, and their dog Tater are coming down for Thanksgiving. How often do you see them, Greg? Do they come down often? Is this a different brother than the one that lives close by? Terry Johnson, thank you very much. Last week I meant to give a shout out to all the veterans out there and it totally slipped my mind and Terry did put a comment in there on that. So thank you very much, Terry. Uh, Vince G. Um, he's not in a relationship, so he said that he would like to spend his Thanksgiving with Nicki Minaj. Yeah. He thinks his family could do without him for one year. I think so. Elaine Gibson. No, I couldn't give up spending time with my family because time with family is so precious. Uh, Tanya Longley. Of course I want to I want my special Thanksgiving with you, Kevin and Megan and Drax Shadow and his family. My mom would probably be mad, and I would never hear the end of it, but it would be worth it. Crimson Fairy. I would have dinner with Ben Franklin's ghost. He's dead, and I think that is about as close as I would get. He wouldn't eat much, either. He could probably come and have, fam have dinner with your entire family, and yeah. most of them, not all of them, <laughs> most of them wouldn't even know he would be there. Sierra Ferguson. I would not spend Thanksgiving with someone famous because I love my family. Even if I don't see all of them, my family comes before some celebrity. I like Margaret Clevenger's answer. I think I would spend my Thanksgiving with my mom because she is my celebrity and we would still have our Thanksgiving traditions. Very good answer. I like that one. Jerry Colburn. And I so wish I was able to make this happen. Yes, I would give up Thanksgiving with my family if I could spend it with Roman Reigns <laughs> of WWE. And I don't have a boyfriend, so what I would I would take 
with my WWE sidekick, my mama. Me with me. She is 80 and she has her TV timer set for all the WWE shows. Why did I say Roman Reigns? Because he is my favorite and my mama enjoys going with me places and seeing my dreams come true because she says I am her miracle baby because I have CP and the doctor gave me, my mom and I a 60% of dying and a 40% of living. I'm proud to say we both made it and I'll turn 30 years old in February. Congratulations and that is an awesome Thanksgiving and if there was any way possible we could do that for you, we would. Terry Johnson I think my family would understand and have Thanksgiving on another day if Bill and I could have Thanksgiving with one of my favorite actors, Robert Redford or Kevin Costner. Yeah, I think knowing how much you, you like those guys, I think they would probably um, work that out for you. So there you have it. There's all of those answers. What would you do, babe, if you could give up Thanksgiving with your family and have it with someone famous? I don't think I'd give up Thanksgiving with anybody. Just invite them over. Yeah, we just invite them here. <laughs> um, the only thing that I would do differently is I wouldn't give up Thanksgiving with my family to have Thanksgiving with someone famous. I would give up Thanksgiving dinner here in California to go to North Carolina and have Thanksgiving dinner with my family there. Um, I haven't had a Thanksgiving dinner with my family in a lot of years, and that would mean a lot to me to be able to do that. So that's Put some stamps on your head and send you out. That would be um, very special to me. Man. Okay, now being that next Thursday is Thanksgiving, I would like to know, my question for today is, three things that you are thankful for. There you have it. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so last week's question had to do with Guillermo del Toro's newest movie, Crimson Peak. And I haven't seen it yet. I was trying to see if I can get her to go with me today, but we can't really afford to go to the theater, unfortunately. But it looks like an excellent movie, and I love everything um, Guillermo has ever done. So the question was, for the movie, not just in general, what... Um, has influenced him because he's influenced by hundreds of things. But for the movie, he, he for the, the mood and the setting, he was influenced by the movie The Innocents, 1961, which is one of my favorites. The Haunting, of course, 1963, again, our favorite. The Exorcist, 1963. Uh, the Omen, 1976. And The Shining, 1980. All because of the, the, uh, the mood and the music and everything put together to create that, that eerie, ghosty uh, ambiance that's in the movie. And those who got that correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and Ubis92882. Today, or this week's question has to do with a movie that is almost impossible to find nowadays. It's called One Dark Night. It was um, uh, made in 1982. And it was trying to compete with Poltergeist and didn't do well in competition. It's not a bad movie, but, you know, it just wasn't able to compete. It has Meg Tilly in one of his, her first roles. And the question is, there's a character named Kitty in the, the movie. And they, they created that name for a specific scene. Why did they, what scene is it and why did they name her Kitty? I never saw the movie. It's a very good movie. So there you have it. There's your trivia question and your weekly question. And you are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there 
we would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. Please go by and check out all our other channels. And we love you very, very much. Kind of a little <laughs> weird shaped heart. But we do love you all very, very much. And we will see you all next week. Bye. Bye, guys.